So how pumped are you for the release of your new single, uh, Something in the Water? Psyched. Yeah, we're all dead excited. Can't very, wait to get very. to do it. First thing we've done in uh, over a year, isn't it? When yeah. Did we release up now? <laughs> but yeah, about over a year ago. So yeah, it's uh, it's been a long time coming and we're really excited about it. Oh, nice one. And um, can you tell us something about the single No One Else Knows? Is there anything... Uh, like any hidden uh, bonuses in there at all, fans or anything like that? Uh, a cool tidbit is that it's all revolves around a sample that was literally created by the piano behind Ash's head. <laughs> it was, uh, you can explain it better than I can. Well, over the, over the last year, like, we, I've, I've, like improved my production technique massively but even like a year ago I was pretty I was pretty much a novice at it and uh, so I uh, I connected this keyboard up to the computer with like a MIDI cable and literally recorded the sound that came out of the keyboard it's, just, it's literally a Casio keyboard uh, and I applied some effect it was the most convoluted way of, of getting like a kind of synth sample because I didn't know what I was doing and uh, it turns out that's the sample that made it onto the final track. <laughs> it's oh, like amazing. the most basically recorded thing ever. Uh, nowadays, I'm you know I'm quite good at using plugins and stuff, and I I just whip that up in about it's five like minutes. The, uh, it's like the like chapter and verse, <laughs> the chapter and verse version of uh, a Casio keyboard with a button that goes DJ DJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I would say there's another one that goes like ah oh, ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that takes me back to my childhood a little bit, but <laughs> that's the root of the song, basically. DJ, ah, uh? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm sure fans will look forward to that. Then. <laughs> and um, so, how long did it take you to write this uh, single? Like, I know you've had, a, you must have had a bit of time in lockdown, and you mentioned it's been a year since you released something. So, is it taken that long to write this, or has it been a bit more quicker than that? No, this is well. This is going to probably be the beginning of an avalanche of <laughs> of uh, chapter verse material, um, and we've been sitting on this single for probably about a year. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't. We, it wasn't written recently. It was. Uh, we've obviously we've had virtually nothing else to do except write over the last year. So we've written loads and loads of stuff, and this was one of the first things we wrote when sort of lockdown began. So uh, yeah, it's. It's been sat around for a while. <laughs> oh, amazing. And just mention about lockdown as well. Did you ever lo lose any motivation at all? Like uh, writing or you, did you remain sort of positive, everything going on? I think like a lot of the time you kind of, like in normal times before the pandemic, you kind of spend a lot of time thinking, oh, I wish there just aren't enough hours in the day, you know, we've got to go to work come home you gotta tidy up or do dinner or whatever and you might get an hour or two you know to write something you're like i wish we had all that time and then suddenly we were given all this time uh where you know we're all you're lucky enough to work um roll up bed go to work and then you're finished and then you've suddenly got hours and hours that you didn't have previously uh where you'd be out of the house so uh actually i think it's it's massively boosted um our, our ability and, our, and the time we've had to write songs which is why we've been so productive over the last year so in, in, in that sense it's been um quite handy uh, to to just be at home all the time but yeah i think i think it's um boosted my motivation personally and like as i said i've i've concentrated on improving like my sort of home production skills and stuff as well so it's been great mm. for me <laughs> the pandemic I'm, I'm definitely... <laughs> at the beginning of lockdown I, I remember really like feeling feeling the pressure of of the time that was given to us although it was tough for a lot of people in many most in a lot of people's cases including our own like ash said we have just had suddenly all this time on our hands and thinking about what we could possibly do with it and i really felt the pressure that at the beginning i worked like furiously hard and so did everybody else and I think that probably got to the point where it started to become a little bit unhealthy. And then as time, well, it definitely did come become unhealthy. And then as time went on, we kind of got more into the flow of being able to do it from home. Like I think with, like with anybody that's had to suddenly readjust the way that their day-to-day -day routines work, it's taken some time to like get into the flow and find the right way of doing it. And 
it's definitely been the same for us, I think. Yeah. What about you, Darren? Do you feel sort of the same? Or? Definitely, yeah. It's been really, it's been really good to find out that we are able to write remotely because what we would normally do is meet up once a week or once a fortnight and any ideas that have been discussed over those few weeks we just bring to the table in the in the rehearsal room and then just sort of hash it out but without being able to do that and just purely being stuck in our own homes um, and figuring out how we go through the writing process and throwing around ideas and then working on them individually and putting them putting them together but it all being done remotely um, really it's been great to know that we can we can do that because it's it's been new for us and actually yeah I think that all the hard work that Josh and Ash uh, have put in and and the amount of work that was that's been been churning out since the start of lockdown has really done dividends for us now because um yeah there's a lot there's a lot there and it's been great to know that it can like I say been done without having to constantly meet up as well and still sound good so super excited oh brilliant and um so you recently released that you'll be playing Reading and Leeds Festival as well this year um so how, how excited are you, are you guys for that um have you been before as as fans so okay so i i'll start on this one because i'm the most excited about it uh, i i i went i first went to my first ever festival sort of like weekend festival was reading 2000 um and i went every single year until 2010 I think. then i've been on a few years since then as well so uh and, and i just completely fell in love with reading festival and um i i was one of those you know i, I was there you know looking at all the lights and listening to the, the music and everything and just soaking up the atmosphere and thinking if I ever get to play this festival uh yeah, I'll, I'll consider that you know like a, a milestone kind of thing so it's 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 a dream come true to be able to play it for me personally just because I love the festival so much so yeah I am pumped for it <laughs> <laughs> oh amazing and they have a really nice sort of like VIP press over there as well so I'm sure cool. you'll love that be accommodating <laughs> yeah <laughs> Never been there I've, into that area before. So yeah, yeah that's great. <laughs> I've never been. I've never been. So the fact that okay, we can yeah. go the first time and get into that area, I mean, that sounds like an absolute treat. <laughs> yeah. Same here. I'm a Redding and Leeds virgin. So I'm looking forward to, you know, popping that cherry wide open. Yeah. I've never been to, go to Leeds, to be honest, because I've been, I've been to Reading so many times, but never been to Leeds. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that would be neat for me as well. I've been, I've been, yeah, I've been to Reading about four times. Never Leeds. Just can't be asked to travel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, all right, brilliant. Uh, are you likely to uh, be touring at all this year as well as Reading and Leeds? Or um, I know you probably can't bring give too much away, but <laughs> any plans? <laughs> Maybe <laughs> that's about well, we can't really, we can't really say anything about it yet. Yeah, uh, I guess okay. the only word to I guess the only word to answer that question is hopefully. <laughs> Exactly. You don't really know, do you? Really, anything could happen in the next few months as well. And we've I think, got uh, the best really... laid plans and paved with the best intentions. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. we oh, live in hope. Yeah. No, perpetual hope. <laughs> That's brilliant. Um, actually, I've just got one last question for you guys. Actually, uh, really appreciate your time today. Um, if you could work with any band or artist on a new song, who would it be and why? Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. I would... Does anybody have an immediate answer? I was just thinking nothing but Thieves, just because I think they've put out incredible work over the last uh, couple yeah. of years. And they're yeah. an absolutely sick band, so yeah, I'd love to work with them, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Controversial or not controversial, slightly different one would be I would love to work with No Rome. I think No Rome is the stuff that he's doing is just the coolest thing. And considering that we're bringing lots of like that, the flavors of that kind of electronic pop world into what Chapter and Verse is doing nowadays, yeah. uh, it would be so fun to work with somebody that's really out of our world. I I'd love to do that. No, I also good. think it's really cool that. Um, Simon Neal is like showing up on everyone's tracks at the moment. So it's just like pop, yeah. up, pop up on a Sleep's track and pop up on an Architect's track. It's like, hell, I'd love it if Simon Neal could pop up on a Chapter and Verse track. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Kev would love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kev's like the biggest Biffy fan in the world. So yeah. 
That'd be great. We're massive fans of collaboration in general, so there's uh, the list is endless for all of us, I think. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, um, that's brilliant. Thanks very much for your time today. Really appreciate it. No problem, mate.